Michelle Logan. How does spirit creatures affect us? Jesus lived in the spirit realm with his father before the world was, John 17, verse 25. Therefore, he is well qualified to answer the following questions. Are angels interested in us? From Jesus, we learned that angels are deeply interested in people. He said, joy arises among the angels of God over one sinner that repents. Jesus revealed that angels are given the responsibility to look out for the spiritual welfare of God's servants. Thus, when Jesus warned his disciples against stumbling others, he said, See it that you men do not despise one of these little ones, for I tell you that their angels in heaven always behold the face of my Father who is in heaven. Matthew 18, verse 10. By this, Jesus did not necessarily mean that each of us followers has a guardian angel assigned to them, but Jesus did show that angels who work closely with God have an active interest in members of the Christian congregation. How can the devil harm us? Jesus warned his followers that Satan tries to stop people from learning the truth about God. Where anyone hears the word of the kingdom, but does not give the sense of it. Jesus said, the wicked one comes and snatches away. And, and what has been sown in his heart, Matthew 13, verse 19. Jesus exposed one way Satan deceives people. When he presented an illustration about a man who sowed wheat seed in his field, the man represented Jesus, and the wheat represented the true Christians who will rule with Jesus in heaven. However, Jesus said that the enemy came and oversowed weeds in among the wheat. The weeds did no false Christian Christians. The enemies that sowed them is the devil, Matthew 13, verse 25 and 39. Just as weeds can look like sprouts of weeds, those who claim to be Christians may appear to be true worshipers. Religions that teach false doctrines deceive people into disobeying God. Satan uses false religion to rob people of friendship with Jehovah God. How can we stop Satan from harming us? Jesus called Satan the ruler of the world, John 14, verse 30. Jesus revealed in a prayer to God how we can gain protection from Satan. Concerning his disciples, Jesus prayed to his heavenly Father, watch over them because of the wicked one. They are no part of the world, just I am no part of the world. Sanctify them by means of the truth. Your word is true. John 17, verse 15 through 17. Knowledge of God's word can protect us from being influenced by the world of mankind that Satan rules. How do angels affect us today? In the conclusion of the system of things, Jesus said, The angels will go out and separate the wicked from among the righteous. Matthew 13, verse 49. We are now living. In the conclusion of the system of things, and millions are responding to the good news of the God's kingdom. Matthew verse 24, 3 and 14. But not all who begin to study God's word gain his approval. Angels direct the word of Jehovah's servants. And people who genuinely love God are separated from those who do not want to apply what they learn. Describing those who do gain God's approval. Jesus said these are the ones that after hearing the word with a fine and good heart, Retain it and bear fruit with endurance. Luke 8, verse 15.